Hello again, welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. Now, uh, the other day I bought one of these PowerTech switch mode power supplies from uh, JCAR. Um, 40 amps peak, um, it's, I think it's uh, sort of continuous is half of that, something like that. So I thought, oh well I'll, I'll just buy one of these for charging some batteries. And then I thought, well, just for fun, I didn't really intend to use it to sort of charge the batteries up while the batteries was con were connected to the radio, but I thought, well, why don't I just see for fun how noisy the power supply is? So the power supply is off at the moment. Um, it's connected to a uh, pretty fairly small battery. This is a 22 amp hour battery that uh, I use on the, uh, the 857 for portable work. Um, sometimes use it in the car to back up the 857 so I can pull 100 amps. Uh, sorry, to <laughs> if only uh, because I can only pull 10 amps out of the uh, the car power socket, and uh, the 857 requires a bit more than that for 100 watts output on SSB. So that just uh, tops the current up. So let's just very quickly see uh, what it does. I'll just quickly lash this up on the floor because I've I've run out of room on my uh, I've run out of room on my bench top. There's the discarded J car bags. Uh, so let's just see how that looks. Now the 85 <coughs> sorry the FT450 is connected to an antenna at the moment. Got a few static crashes because we've had a storm go through earlier on. It's pretty grey outside, had some rain. Look, camera mount moves on its own. There you go, it's doing it again. Okay, but you, you get the picture. Got a uh, got a noise level of about seven, and every now and then it sort of goes up to about nine, and we get some maybe over nine, but some static crashes and whatever. So let's turn on the power supply and see if it's see if there's ash or whatever. There we go. Power supply's on. No difference whatsoever. Good heavens. Let's try another band. Now what uh, what I will have to do is I'll just retune. Huh. There's actually somebody on there. <laughs> this is the local chit chat channel. Because it's connected to the antenna, I won't tune it because they'll they'll hear it. But um, if I, if I put that on FM and then hit the PTT, the auto tuner would match the antenna. Um, but for the, for the purposes of this demonstration, the power supply is on and running at the moment. As you can see, there's no noise. Um, and of course, you know, someone, uh, as soon as you're doing a, as soon as you, as soon as you're doing a demo, someone will come on. So we can see that you know, the noise level down here that's with the power supply on, so there's no detectable hash on on 40 metres or on 80 metres from that switch mode power supply. That is really surprising. I was expecting it. Oh, what's that? Is that the power supply? Yeah, it is. And there was me, there was me thinking it was pretty good. It was just, uh, just warming up. But it's not right across, it's not right across the band. It's only a bit of crap around there. Uh, fast.
Looks all right across the rest of the band, doesn't it? I think that's an AM broadcast station sitting in the middle of 40 metres. But it looks like there's only one, one clump of hash on 40 metres from that power supply. That's, I'm really quite impressed with that, you know. I thought it would be an absolute sprog box. Of course, the sprog ha has to be. Of course, the sprog has to be on the uh, WA 40 metre chit chat channel. Couldn't be anywhere else, could it, really? All right, well, let's just have another look at uh, AT. <laughs> That's 3605 is the WA 80 metre chit chat channel. So that's not too bad. It's just down here though. So the sprogs, I'd say that's going to be from the power supply. I'll just switch it off. Yeah, so the grumblings from the power supply are quite close to the chit-chat uh, frequencies used in Western Australia on 80 metres and 40 metres. I mean, it couldn't be anywhere else, really. <laughs> you know, they couldn't be... Uh, they couldn't be 50 kcs up the band. They've got to be right on top of the frequency that we use. How is it on 20 metres, I wonder? Out of 14,200. Just change the mode. Yeah, that's the best the auto tuner can do on 20 meters. Um, two to one. Um, don't know whether to trim a little bit off the wire or. Uh, I don't use 20 metres very much. I'll just make up uh, a ballon, put it, put a ballon on the output, the auto tuner maybe. Uh, let's change the mode. Doesn't sound too bad. There were some lightning crashes around. Radio what? Is that a pirate? Is that a call sign? Anyway, um... I'm <laughs> 
Well, that power supply isn't really interfering with turning around on 20 metres. Um, it's just outside the, uh, it's quite close to, but not exactly spot on the um, uh, 40 metre and um, 80 metre channels that we use in WA just for local chit chat. So I think, uh, I think, I think myself that's uh, that's actually usable for um, strapping across the batteries whilst uh, the radio is actually in use. I actually got it to sort of charge the batteries when I wasn't using the radio, but I think that's going to be fine just to strap that across the battery and float it. To be honest, uh, um, I don't think that's that's too much bother at all. Now I did hear that. Um, on 14.2, there is a sort of beeping noise with an occasional burst of data. Depends what the propagation is like, I suppose. Got no idea where it comes from or what it actually is. Take it off at fast or help. Right? Oh, someone testing. So that power supply is still running, still strapped across the battery. You know, you can see that it's not not really affecting uh, 20 metres at all. There's no hash, no nasty hash. So I'm quite pleased with that. All right. Well, I think that's uh, more than enough excitement for one day. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found that interesting, and uh, catch you next time.